doesn't matter though. There is a fish right there, if you guys can see it, underneath that rock in the water. All right, he's in there. He's in the bucket. There he is. Look at the little guy. The baby. He's gonna grow to be Look so him. big. Look how so big these guys are. Look at that. Good morning everyone. Here we are another beautiful day in paradise. Just got back from Florida last night late uh, This morning actually it was so late, but we Just shipped a bunch of packages and we are heading over to a scrap cleanup in Beasley's Point, New Jersey, so Our boys started a clean out over here a small job and he's getting down to the end of it and he said there's a lot of metal if we want to come get it we can have it a uh, running mower and some other gold so here we are another beautiful dad living it what do you say <laughs> let's go see this trash right here but that yeah. thing's cool let's see what this guy has to offer for the boys <laughs> he's yelling from his truck scared the <laughs> shit out of me this thing runs yeah. no that thing looks like a piece of... Oh, does this wheelbarrow work? Yeah, we take that too. I want this thing. I mean, you take whatever you want. There's, there's a nice table in here. What's that grill from? I don't know. Take, take is this whatever. the same property? Yeah, it's two lots. Dude. This is a um, flea market, maybe. Oh, man. <laughs> I'll be selling this later today. It's a mower man. <laughs> Dude, no. Guy's a god. Oh, so it works? I might. Up here, there's all oh, that oh, wood burning stove is the only thing to stay. Wow. What's that thing? That, that's all you, bro. That stays? So, do you want to finish this, this tabletop, for like three bills? Yeah, well, I will. Okay. Obviously. Will you get money from this? I mean, you got you got your books. You could just read up on, dude. That's just straight trash, boys. You know that. So all. <laughs> I get it. Okay, so he did this job based off the inside of the house, and then found out he had to do the outside. So I guess added some money, but didn't realize the magnitude of just the job to begin with. It happens a lot though for us. But uh, either way, he did most of it. And we're just coming and taking the last of what's here. So the scrap, little piece of scrap there. Nothing behind there. A little surfboard fin. The chimney. Do you want to drive up or just leave the truck there? I think leave it for now, right? It's almost filled up. What's up, boys? What's up, boys? So this thing has a, like a copper coil in there, maybe? No, oh, no, it doesn't even. It has like a cheap little scrap of those. There's this little thing, which looks really old, but it says made in China on the other side, so. I don't know. Thought it was cool at first. There's a little shelf here. It's actually kind of cool. There's, that stays for now. The wood burner. If the guy doesn't take it, we're gonna have to come get it. But that could be worth, I don't know, a hundred maybe. Probably not gonna get that for it. But if someone was looking for it, this is building supplies right here and some trash wood this is like some bamboo shades and these are like tack strips for a carpet and then there's some doors and siding up here which I think I'm gonna try and put up for free let's see how that goes and then there is books 
This is recycling, probably. Municipal corporations. Yeah, I don't really know. Law books. It looks like. Hey, your own Poe. I don't know. Maybe these are worth taking to the flea. Probably not, though. There's a little light right here. Another light. A little light. Could be wired in. Ooh, just hit my face on there. So here's some more some more siding and then all the blinds I guess from the house. And there's a saw under there, I think it looks like. Might start. I don't even know. Taking everything out. So that's pretty much the job. Tabletop here. I don't really know how that's gonna go. Moving on to the next section, there is a door here, porch door, in outside door, wheelbarrow, stained glass that's ruined, a uh, bunch of plastic in there, three pieces of plywood that are probably usable. So this is the job that we got thrown in today didn't know about it until today I didn't just came down here to check it out we're gonna do the scrap first and then bring the trailer back for whatever's left but yeah foreclosure life is so heavy awesome though all right so we have the scrap loaded up from the house we have a working lawnmower which is not getting scrapped I know that I scrap a lot of lawnmowers but not working ones I have one thing that is a little bit crazy going on right here. This is a koi pond. This is a really cool koi pond. There's some bamboo. There was a waterfall. This little Asian thing that we're actually going to take probably. But there is a fish right there if you guys can see it. Underneath that rock in the water. I don't know how clear he is. There he is. And they do go into some kind of hibernation mode. But he's still alive. I see him moving in there. I don't know if he's the only one. But this property has been sold to somebody else who's not the owner. And the fish has been left unkept for I have no idea how long. But we are going to get a bucket with a lid and we're coming back and we're gonna take the fish rescue them and try and put them in a different koi pond somewhere else so that's our plan right now our neighbor has one we might have to ask him about it but it's worth it even if we have to save them and bring them to some kind of a pet store or something that would be better than leaving them behind so we're taking this load we're gonna go home, drop off what we have. These seashells that Sammy picked out of the yard to use for our walkway. And then we have some other non-scrap items in here that we're gonna take back to the house, get a bucket, and then come back and rescue this little guy. So, happy I caught that. Cause that guy doesn't, need, doesn't deserve to be left here. All right, about to pull into the scrapyard here. Like I claim, no bad days at the scrapyard. Dreamers. All right, backing up into this masterpiece. Should be good right here, I guess. Yeah, that one. Yeah. Which has little much. Alright. Throw that Zipper. out of there. Get that out of there. Who 
just gotta throw the scrap out. Throw it out. This just. Yeah, but not the chair. The chair stays. This big ass piece of fucking cast iron. Oh my god. Yeah, don't, don't want to go back on your toes when you're like, not wearing the proper Like when it hit tire. me in the toe? Shit the fuck out of this truck so I can put good stuff in here like fish. Like, uh, like koi fish. concrete lions. You know what I'm claiming, boys? Yeah. Hey, girls, look at this guy with his scrap. His trailer of freaking fences. Oh, gold. I can get this out. Damn, your back though? You gotta wear a back brace when you're doing this. This is crazy. Tell me about it. Huh? Talk to me about it. I don't know how your back even works. It doesn't. It doesn't. This thing too. Like. Not that. Not That's just keep life. That's it. This guy got smoked. Alright, this is one of the pieces that I was a little bit stoked about just knowing that it can actually be brand new and sold on eBay. It is got a little bit of dirt on it there. In the box, brand new. It's a Chrysler grill. Not sure of how much it would go for but it is got the parts and everything on here it's a cherry hill dodge chrysler and champ chapman ford i don't know what that means but it's a grilly in the wrapping still so i'm going to look this up and post that one to ebay because that's an easy ship and should be worth I really have no idea. I'm just guessing in between like 40 and 80 dollars, if not more. All right, we scooped up these the other day. Didn't film it from our time. Uh, our friend Tom Sullivan, he's moving, and he gave us all these to sell or scrap or whatever. Gonna take these to the flea and try and get 50. I think I don't know 15 for the big ones. Maybe 10, I don't know, 50 for all if someone wants to offer it. Or who knows. Always negotiation going down at the play, but these are like drum stands and music stands. Probably cost a ton of money when they were brand new. But, gotta keep it moving. Alright, this is the bucket we're gonna use to save the fish. And it has this little top here that unscrews. So I'm figuring for an air hole. It's a paint bucket. Nothing special, but gotta save the boy. Alright, we're back at the job. We went to feed my mom's cats, and Sammy changed the litter for one of them. But my brother Ben left me a pair of Otis sunglasses at the house for me. This is what they look like. Polarized. OtisEyewear.com Don't really have any idea what it is, but I put them on and I already love them. So, thank you, Ben. For the dream, we're about to save this fish oh, shit, they need and get some other items here today. Put everything else out to the curb, see what is taken, and come back Sunday to just solidify this job. So that's the plan. These lions are coming home with us, these two guys. Caulked back together. Look at it. I see it. I see. And this one's chipped on the front. All right. They're still really. We're gonna cool. put these in Landis and Lucky's uh, entrance okay, way. Just, look, this one was totally dropped and broken. Doesn't matter though. You could just sell these. Again. Sick. If you ever wanted to. Or we can give this to uh, Ben and Jordan. That's true. For like a housewarming gift. If they ever 
That's true, but who like wouldn't want these things? Some people don't like the Steez even. Dude, this is Boss Steez. To me it is. But. You true. Alright, he's here. He moved. Hopefully there's not more than one. I'm gonna just scoop in there and try and get him. I could film you with that and this. No, I got it. Yeah, I do. Because there's nothing I can do to, to make him go in if he doesn't want to. A swing and a miss. Yeah, you might have to do it with this. I got him. Damn. Oh my god. I'm stuck on thorns. Got him. Save the fishy. Let me see. Mm -hmm. Alright, he's in there. He's in the bucket. Do you guys see him swimming around in there? I'm gonna case this joint. We'll just leave him here for a minute, see how he adapts to this bucket and then clear out the other shit. Alright, we're gonna get that Asian tower. I already got half of it, but the big pieces over there, we're gonna double team it. All right, we got the pagoda, concrete pagoda. It has the name of the company on here. It says 1984. That would be insane if that was true. This thing is super cool though. Pizza oven, it looks like a big mouth. You could just put like hair coming out of there and then like two eyes on here. Honestly, it looks like a Pac-Man. That's what I'm saying. Right. Two fish tank or Terrarium lights. Probably flea market those for a dollar each. <coughs> Found there was two boxes of these books, so I just threw them in the recycling one of them so far. That's true. That's a good idea. And then I'm gonna put this out because they dumped those. And then there's a shit ton of screens in the garage in the shed. And this is trash here. You can put the screens in this trash can, I think. I keep calling these screens, but they're actually blinds. Do you think if we put these blinds out, someone would take them, or should we put them in the trash can? Will they fit in the trash can? You can do that in the chair. Go outside. All right, so we're uncovering these screens. Oh, why do I keep calling them three? They are blinds. I think they're going to take them in this can. Trying to get down to the bottom to see what this stuff was. I thought it was a saw before. Now I'm realizing it's 45s. This is some true, true treasure hunting. Look at this. Got to get in here and see which ones these are. Some of these are worth a small fortune. Probably not these ones, but you never know. I was digging in here. I put this pallet out here and I was just curious as to what's going on in here. And it's a little couple trinkets in here. Shrek. <laughs> the boy, dude. And the big dog, Shrekie. What else we got in here? Look at this. Some PlayStation controllers. That dude, Jurassic Park action figure. I remember him. The 
boy, dude. Boy. I'll just put this stuff on top. Maybe I'll get someone to come. Get that dinosaur to put it on top. That's the park with the boy. Someone will come and see him and then be like, oh, what's in here? Mm -hmm. Cool. You know what I mean? Yeah. This dog, though. That little guy. Dreamer. Little guy. Just ruin the yard a little bit, it's alright though. Just smush it back down. This guy. <laughs> he was like, the yard was already ruined. Not like this though. Nobody panic though. They're redoing the whole yard anyway. Pup Pup's taking this door home, this new door, for a shed. Our baby boyfriend had the idea to use this for the shed. Our got... baby boyfriend. Oh, that's true. I don't think that's even going anywhere. Too heavy, uh, right? The last, but not least. Uh, I need to move it over there. Ouch. The baby boy, the real baby boy, has to come home to daddy. Uh, you could put that lid on because it has a giant hole. So that he the... looks cool though, dude. He looks what? Like really cool when he was up at the top. Yeah, he's just a baby. Gotta What's, save him. Uh, what does he eat in there? Should I put something else in there? Yeah. Or no? Wait till he gets to his new environment, right? Wait until he gets to his new environment. There's nothing going to be eaten there. Except the algae, I guess, but that's all over like the sides of it. He's good though. I mean, it was really... The only way to do it was to bring a bucket like this. This is a good bucket though, that it has that hole like that. Yeah. You know? Yeah, a lot of them do, but a lot of them don't. Huh? Huh. I should say the paint pockets, yeah. The other ones don't hold it. It's gonna be good back there, right? Oh, Just wedge rough. him in there. He's fine, though. There's so much water, though. This is our plan of attack. Leave everything here. The trash cans will be taken, hopefully. And we put out all the stuff as decorative as we could to see if people will take it. Let the scavengers at it for two days. Post a curb alert on Craigslist. And then eventually if the trash trucks don't take it, we'll come back and get the rest of what's left. But I can see like five things that I, mostly all of it's gonna get taken by just legends. All right, we're about to make a proposition to my friend Joel over here where this koi pond is. Let's see what we're claiming. Up on the side, the other side. Uh, need to go around. I need to go talk to the boy. Just... You gotta film it, that. It's too funny. This is the pond, though. Oh, and they are in there. <gasps> um, he can have friends. Hello, sir. Can I help you? Yeah, I have a um, proposition slash a question for you, if you can answer it. Yeah, I can answer any question. I, uh, we do property preservation for a banks and stuff like that. And you we want to take a picture, put me on the CIA website? No, yeah, I want to... That's what um, you got to do. You put my picture on the CIA website, they'll all laugh. They know who I am. You're a legend. I know. Do you More remember me from the Sea Rambler or no? Brad's friend, Dickie's I think friend. So yeah. So I have a koi fish in this bucket, and I was wondering if I could put it in that pond. A koi fish? Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
and they left the fish there to die. I guess it would be okay. I'm not going to, as long as you're not taking it, you know. I'm not taking not a, it. So in your opinion, we can do it. I'll let you do it. Just don't take one out. As I'm long not as it's taking not. it. No way. Well, <laughs> I see it that. too. I, I want to see what. There he is, a little guy. The homie. Yeah, drop him in there. Just all right. Awesome. I, I don't think that. Uh, just don't use that water. Okay. Uh, I'll take him out of here and yeah, just put in a little right net there. or something. There's last night, and I looked at it in its eyes, and I said, "Please don't die, and don't worry. The water will adjust, and you'll be okay." And it's it's doing great today. See? He I needed heard those this, words. I heard the, yeah. the conspiracy that you're John F. Kennedy's son. I'm not. I, I don't know if it's John, but I do know one thing. My dad was a Secret Service agent for him. Okay. Yeah. My mother was that I know is my mother was a nurse for the Kennedys because she went uh, she was in nursing school in, in University of Miami and the Secret Service needed a nurse that was fresh out of <laughs> where no with no big background and I noticed my mom did do that too and on my birth certificate I've been trying so hard you don't know on the birth certificate it says 1964 I was adopted, I was with my mom, she got a name, divorced my father who was a Secret Service agent. So you were a candidate? Well, I don't know if I'm a Kennedy, or if it was actually my dad that was with Jackie because he was guarding her and he got her pregnant, or better yet, I have a feeling that's what it is, and that's why they don't want to tell me. Jackie it was No, son. it was Onassis. Jackie. And her sister. This is true. You can go I on know, that internet. Dude, I know. In '63, she went to Aristotle Nassus's yacht. Dude. Her <laughs> and Kennedy was running around with whatever he was doing back then, John. And yeah, yeah. And she probably Maryland had a around. relationship with Onassis. You understand? And she came back, and she was showing for you know started with the little kid at that time. You look at the dates from '63, from the time <laughs> that he was killed, and all that. It all goes right into place. Yeah. And see, the CIA probably knows, but they won't. T they don't want to tell me, and they don't want me to know that I'm a NASA's son because I'm the heir. The heir to the dynasty. I would, not, not Athena. Athena was just the granddaughter. See, Christine <laughs> and his son Ale Ale uh, 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 Alexandra killed. They were both dead. Do you understand? You should take a DNA test. That's, That's what I want. You don't know how much I, 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 I spit every night on this, take the DNA of this and just run it, man. It's only a <laughs> DNA test. But I, I, I don't think they want to tell me because they know. Once they tell me it's the DNA, they know that I'm going to, you know, jump on it. Good day. Well, I would have to speak to Athena, and Athena's the one, and the Kennedys ought to be, you know, Caroline. I'm only related then to Caroline. Me and Caroline had the same mother. See? And I didn't grow probably also because of another thing, I was premature, four months premature. And see, that's what happened. They pulled the child out four months premature of Jackie against her will. And then they said to the world the child died of respiratory ailment from Boston U. You know what they did? They took the child from Boston U to the Air Force Base. And they kept the child alive on the Air Force Base, and they had the best doctors working to keep me alive because I have a trachea. My doctor even says, the trachea is there. They put a trachea in me to keep the lungs from collapsing for a lack of oxygen. So you grew up on Area 51. Well, I, how the hell would I have known if they kept the kid there? Do you understand? <laughs> I got well, you, I, you know, and they, I do have one out. thing that, that nobody else has. What is that? And that's another factor. You're an alien. No, I have three carotid arteries. Not two, three. The doctors down here said my pulse is so low they couldn't understand. They said I have a heart condition. I said I don't feel like I have a heart condition or anything. I never got sick or sick or anything. They sent me to Penn with the with the carotid arteries check. They wouldn't tell me anything. I had to go up to Penn to talk to the doctor that looked at the you know the photographs because they, they're strictly you know viewed by their doctors. And the doctor told me, comes back and he tells me, well, you should have been in the Air Force. So I said, why? He says, because you, you can handle the G's better than the average pilots because of the third artery. Then he goes, 
you should have been di diving in the Navy because you can probably dive better and breathe better than the average, you know, divers. And then the last thing he said to me, yeah, that'll make you laugh. I'm telling you, it'll make you laugh. He said, <laughs> I'm already laughing, why aren't brother. you in movies? I said, movies? What are you talking about, doctor? What type of movies? You know what he said? Not the movies you think of. XX movies is what it. you should be in because he knows I have the third child. artery and the right and the blood. It's all with the blood down there. <laughs> and you got a big neck, too. <laughs> <laughs> well, the only one that knows is my wife. <laughs> <laughs> this guy's a fucking god. <laughs> no way, is this guy letting us put this fish in here and acting like this? <laughs> this was the call, right? Koi fish in here are so healthy and so big. This guy's gonna live forever in here. Cause look how tiny he is, and they then look how like big so these long. guys are. On they, film, they don't look that big, but dude, oh my gosh, huge. they're huge, literally. They're huge. One of them's the size of sissy. Yeah, and this guy cares so much about it, and it's so good it's not frozen. Like it was probably frozen a couple weeks ago. What's this place called? Luciano's? Yeah. How long do you think they can live in there for? I don't know. Just keep it rolling like this. You can see probably everything. put it in there cool. and it'll be no, big it's, when it's when good. Okay. And hold it. Huh? Right. I just changed the water. That's why I don't want any funky water in there. So. So we found a home. Oh, he's not happy now. What's this place called? Sea View Harbor Marine. Here, so, Cause he's not happy. You ought to send it to the CIA saying I'm Aristotle Nassas' son. Are you though? <laughs> they all laugh probably. There he is. Look at the little guy. The baby. He's gonna grow to be him. so big. Look oh, how big so these guys are. Look at that. He's the same kind as that one. There That's he small too. You're putting them in a good oh. place. That's awesome. Thank you, Joel. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Makes me feel good. <laughs> Little things like that make me feel good. Small acts of kindness multiplied by millions change the world. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, I don't know. The world is crazy right now. I Thank was you. so upset that that black guy to do what he did. Coffee harvest. <laughs> What's the coffee claim for the boys? Huh? What coffee claims you're making? No, I'm, I don't know. You don't know? I'll show it to you if you it's want. It's Peruvian? It's in, yeah, it's in my car right over there. All right, let's check it out. You can go to Brigantine had it. That's where I get it. When I get it, I go to Brigantine. From the Acme? At the Acme in Brigantine, yeah. It's on sale, too. Two for uh, nine fifty. The Peruvian Organic. Peruvian. That's the coffee claim right there, boys. Right there. All right, I'm gonna get some of that. I'm telling you, it's, it has cocoa in it. I love cocoa. Cocoa's the best thing to calm Ooh. somebody's nerves. All right, <laughs> thank you, Joel. Really, we appreciate that. No problem. Take Have care. a good one, Take dude. care, little guy. Have a good... I will. I'll, try, I'll keep them safe over there. You got a Harley? I like Harley Davidsons. I do have something though. I have my old. <laughs> I have my original moped that I bought in 1978. A motor of the con. Did you, and did you I ride it. In the, yeah, I run it in the summer when it's nice out and it's not too busy. I take it out. It's nice. Too red. And you know, Bruce Willis kept his boat this marina. Yeah. And when he did, the children were young at the time because he's from New Jersey. Okay. And he said to me, he came over to me and said, "My children are going to be here, and I have to check your background out." I said to Bruce, "I said, go dig in your pockets. You're got some money." And do an investigation and you'll find it's going to come up classified and i said it's going to make your hair you don't even have hair it's going to make you stand up and you know what he did it and, and he came back after the children left and everything and he said go see the movie i made it for you red red and it's your background it's a red file in the cia and see to red the red file <laughs> Bruce Willis is the man. Go see it. It's great. Gonna go check it out tonight, later. Bye. Thank you, Joel. Later. <laughs> he knew, dude. He knew. Aww. He saved the fishy. He did. He really did. Because what else were we gonna do if we didn't take it there? Blessed by Concrete Rob. Coming out of Acme. Put it right next to that or under it? What did he say? Under it? 
All right, we're putting the concrete rod sticker on. This is how you do it. This thing smells weird. Mm-hmm. Perfect. Wow. Gotta unload this stuff. But we got for the boy for letting us put the fish in there. Some. Huh? You wanna show it? <gasps> Peruvian coffee. He was the kind right, that he likes. He was right on point. Two for nine at Acme. He knew. Uh -huh. Alright, so we're making the decision now that we're gonna be doing the flea market in Berlin tomorrow. Um, just loading up, I just started loading up. So we were supposed to go over and meet our friend to get some stuff from his house. And he said not till Sunday. So uh, we are getting it going now. I'm gonna put in some stuff here. I already loaded these three things. Music stands for drums and stuff. This big pot we got today and this box of books and 45s that we got today. I'm gonna just start loading it in, loading it up, loading it in. The dream. All right, we're loading up for the flea market. I'm just starting to realize that this is next level insanity because we have not done a flea market in so long that there is so much stuff accumulated just this whole strip right here these two bikes we just got for free the other day this lawnmower we got today it works all this tile right here we got these guys today they're not cell life this box is filled with like sports memorabilia left over still and i'm just thinking like i built this shed to hold like my tools this shed and it's just got like flea market items decked. Like this whole shelf, oh that's tile too. This whole shelf here though is just filled with different items that I'm probably never gonna use. And the OG, the infamous RC coal machine which is still in there. But the shed, I haven't even started unloading yet. But this is just filled with flea marketable goods. Not really that crazy amount of stuff though. If we purged for like two weeks and just did fleas like two or three days a week, we'd be stoked. It's just hard because we just got a ton of stuff for free today. And it's like, how do you say no to stuff you know you can make money off of? It's hard to say no. It's hard to say no. This mirror though, it's too big to deal with, but it's, these golf clubs, I still have those. I'm gonna start putting some of the stuff from here in the car. Just a few things to start. But flea market going down tomorrow for sure, so stay tuned. It's gonna be around like 40 to 50 degrees out and cloudy but that should be good for the flea i think there's gonna be a lot of people out hopefully so also we got this door today and the, it's a little bit tall for this entrance but it would be so nice i could just cut it back a tiny bit and put it right here and then kind of like seal around it with wood to just make it a door so I could actually shut the door with all the stuff in here instead of just having a tarp over it, which would be kind of cool. But this shed I built 100% I think for free and it's been lasting for all winter so far and holding everything that's in it in it. So stoked about the way this turned out so far. Might even build one on that side. Is that lucky? 
All right, so that's it. We're going to do the flea tomorrow, so stay tuned. Like I said, uh, it's going to be heavy coffee. 5 a.m. wake up around, probably get up to the Berlin flea. Hopefully around like 6.30. Um, so, yeah, the dream continues. Got to push it every day. I always just keep saying it, but, like, things don't just work out in minutes. Like, things don't work out over a month period. You're never going to get anywhere if you don't continue to just push. I've been on this path, on this journey, for a long, long time. And I'm just getting a tiny bit of footing. And it's because of hard work and just pushing every day and just being like, this is what I'm doing with my life. This is my career. And I'm not going to give up. So, it's hard. But at the same time, it's so rewarding. And I get so much time spent with Sammy and a lot of time spent with people I love and with my cats and in my own house and a lot of freedom. So it's well worth the work. But I do truly believe if I chose a different path, I would work less, but I'd have less to look forward to. So push your dreams always. Never, ever give up, no matter what anyone says. Yeah. Okay, so we got a package from our friend Manda Panda. I'm going to open it with Pup Pup. Clean your puppy paws. Sissy. Mm -hmm. Babies. Um, hey, Sammy. Thought you'd like Thanks. some pretty things, love, Manda Panda. Ooh. Kiki Nightmares. Oh, this is a nice little change holder. I love this. There's some pop up space. Dewormer oh. for the babies. Dewormers for the babies in case you guys get your stinky worm. Thank you. And for you have sparkly cat pens. Right? Yes, you got one of those before. Yeah, but I broke it. Two, got you got. White and pink. Now you got two. <gasps> hey, I got stuff. Two. You did. Look at these earrings. How cute they are. Looks like Sissy's face. Hey, I got stuff too. Oh my gosh. Hello Kitty hair clips. I'll be wearing these with my short hair now. That's what these are perfect for when you have short hair. These are nice earrings. Oh, they're feathers. I got Kiki Yoga for Cats. And how to live without a calculating cat. Is Pup Pup calculating? I'm actually going to read these, though, because I just realized I like cat books. They're the only kind of books I'll read. That's a cutie. You should wear that tomorrow. You think everybody would look at me weird if I wore this? Yeah, but so that would be fun. Everybody's always like, what's the occasion? But For like, Cammy. Oh, Cammy got a gift. Not a gift. She still got it. Ooh, and I got these in black, too. Bug life burners. Oh my gosh. So that bugs don't come. Oh my gosh. Charmies. Charmeleons. Right? How cool are these? Are I got the best stuff from her. You did? Yeah. You I did. got patches. I'm not and guess what else? No. Alright. What else did you get? <gasps> what else did you get, Bon? I think I got clay glasses. <gasps> No. Yeah. No. Yeah. Bun. Yeah. Look at that Hello Kitty keychains. 
Come on. I got clay glasses. You got two pairs of glasses today. Ben hooked you up with. Not these. No. Nobody ever got these. Let me see them. Oh no! These are so you. They're not clay. They just in the case what these are. The dream. Oh my! God. <laughs> They're so you. And another something in here. Let's see. Ooh, these are my stees. What are they? No way. Super, they just said, but these are cool too. Oh, I'm so sad because mine broke. You can have these. No, they're I have yours. Two pairs, three pairs of glasses. Come on. These I are have yours. Three pairs of glasses now. Oh, Pop Pop has three pairs of these glasses. These are good work glasses, that too, on top of being cool. Because the glasses she sent me the last time were literally my favorite. And until the side. What, until what happened? They broke because I wore them so much. Because you're a baby. You're a baby. What else you got? Oh, kitty princess stuff. This stuff's the best. Pop Pop's like, where's my stuff? What is that? Is that better. your Uncle Paul? Who is it? Oh. Alright, I got my new glasses on. Dude. They're so, so cool. Those glasses look so cool on you. What's Thank that? You. What's the heavy thing? Oh, it's Kiki's. Kiki, I'm going to put these in my room right now. Thank you so much, Manda Panda. I always love my gifts from you. Whoa, Thank you. These are we cool. got good stuff. My patches. She hooked Pop Pop up. I use my patches. Oh, and you guys got toys too. Don't you got something, Snaz. Thank you. We appreciate it. It was very cool to open and fun to have. Thank you. What's the claim? Thank you very much. And? Okay, he's looking at me. And good night or good morning. See you bright and early for some flea market claims. Yes. Woo! Come along with us while we sell some some goodies tomorrow. Peace. These are cute. You want to play with these? Look, he's so mad at me. I don't understand why. I can't do anything right with this kid. MJ. He's just so bratty. I don't know where he gets it from. Yeah. You.